This thing is a classic example of twisting information to suit your own narrative. Seeing this reel, one might think that weight gain is good to help hormones during perimenopause and that you don't need to put in any effort to lose body fat. But the truth is miles away from this. Yes, estrogen dips during perimenopause. Earlier, if your ovaries made say about 10 units of estrogen, now it becomes unpredictable. Some days it's high, other days it's very low. But Saying that increased fat and fat percentage helps make estrogen is very, very misleading. The type of estrogen produced by fat cells or the adipose tissue is estrone, which is E1. Estrone is weaker than estradiol E2 from ovaries or HRT and does not offer the same benefits. In fact, excess estrone has been linked to increased breast and endometrial cancer risks, especially when unopposed by progesterone. This means that higher fat is not beneficial for your long-term health and longevity. As I have always said, maintaining a healthy body composition, a body fat percentage of about 25% is good for you. Of course, the standard advice of maintaining a balanced diet, regular exercise, stress management, sleeping on time and medical HRT when prescribed by your doctor is super boring, does not get likes. But when the world starts saying more and more things that people want to hear, which gets you likes and comments, is folks like me who have to start telling you the real, albeit a little harsh, truth. The only way for you to see a healthy menopause transition is to start working on your health in your 30s and work on the basics of a healthy lifestyle. Share this reel with every woman you know.